Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my Y'all Fest 2017 vlog. I tried something a little different that involved a voiceover and just more complicated stuff. And of course, I'm still getting over the con crud, so my voice isn't what it usually would be, but this is a new experiment, so let's just get into it. So I woke up bright and early, but not too early for my flight. I happened to get a later flight in the morning. So I did most of my packing that morning because I don't know about you guys, but I have to pack most of my stuff the day of because it's mostly toiletries and stuff. So I can't pack ahead of time except for my clothes. So most of my packing was done that morning, but it was fine and we were on time and everything was good. My flight was on time. I flew Southwest for the first time. So I got into Charleston, South Carolina at mid afternoon. It was kind of gross weather out, misty and cold, but I caught a lift and headed to our hotel. We've been staying at the same hotel for the last three years, so it's just something that I look forward to. It's really nice. They have a free breakfast and they also have free hors d'oeuvres and drinks every day, so it's just a nice time and it's a nice hotel. So I got there, met up with everyone that was there, and waited for everyone that wasn't quite there yet, so unpacked, hung out, enjoyed the surroundings. Again, I really like this place. It's just so nice. It's actually an old fort from the Revolutionary War, so that's cool. But a little later, we headed down for our drinks and our hors d'oeuvres like this and caught up and just got to see one another. And this was our nice relaxing event for the year. Mari and I had been planning Booknet Fest all year and this was a time to just kind of relax and breathe. So we got our drinks and then headed to Thai Basil, which is one of my favorite restaurants there. It has really good sangria and really good Pad Thai. We actually all decided that we were getting that first thing Thursday because we love this restaurant. We go here every year. It's so delicious. I look forward to it the whole time and I ate my entire meal in that one sitting because I've been looking forward to it basically all year since we left Y'all Fest last year. After that, we walked downtown a bit and then went back and hung out for a while. So the next morning was Y'all Crawl and that just happens in the afternoon on Friday so we just end up getting some breakfast and then just hanging out most of the day. This is our first breakfast made with love. This is a delicious omelet and we went and hung out. We actually walked around, went and saw Blue Bicycle Books which is one of the sponsors for Y'all Fest and checked out some of the books. We decided not to do any of the signings that day because the lines were way too long and I'm just not a fan of signings really anymore. I don't consider it worthwhile to wait in a line that long for a two second interaction with an author so we end up just walking around downtown again and and then headed to a park because I had a bunch of books to give away. I used my one free checked bag for some books that I was unhauling, so I brought some of those, set up in the park, and then we all hung out. We met up with Paige because she had a very long delayed flight and we just hung out in the park for a couple of hours and then went and grabbed lunch. One of the places we go to, again, is a place we go to every year and that is the Mellow Mushroom. It's a pizza place and I ended up getting a calzone that could feed an entire village and everyone else pretty much got pizza. But we end up doing that and then again walking around more downtown, going shopping a little bit. I got some pants from Lululemon and then we hung out for the rest of the evening. I didn't bring my camera for the rest of that because I honestly didn't want to lose my camera and I knew it wouldn't vlog at night anyway because the lighting is bad. So the next day was actual Y'all Fest. I ended up using it as a relaxing day, just taking advantage of the nice weather. It was actually kind of cold out, but it was okay. It looked really nice out. I mean, this is the soup that we had from Panera that day because we just needed some soup, something to warm us up, but it actually didn't really do much for warming us up or anything. So I ended up not doing any signings. Again, like I said, I prefer panels. So the panels that I missed were actually panels that weren't that good anyway, apparently. So I went to a lot of panels in the afternoon and those were all really fun. So we ended up having lunch and then going and waiting in the line for the Expanding Universes panel. This is the one that had Lee Bardugo and Cassandra Clare, Suman Chainani, and Margaret Stoll. And they discussed writing in the same universe and expanding their universes over multiple books and how to build those big universes. So it was really interesting. Lee was the moderator and did a really good job of keeping all those big personalities in line because a few times this panel almost went completely off the rails. And then we checked out the Royalty and Political Scheming panel, which was again really great. These two are my two favorites and they were so much fun. These panelists were amazing and some of these people have debut books so I ended up really enjoying this and enjoying everything they were talking about and really getting excited for Tomi's book in particular because she loves Avatar The Last Airbender. And then we ended up just hanging out for the rest of the evening. We went and got some Starbucks at this really cute Starbucks that's local. And they had their holiday cups, so that was awesome. I ended up getting a really delicious hot chocolate before we headed over to dinner. This was at Justine's Kitchen, which is a southern comfort food place that us and a couple booktubers have gone to basically every year now for a while. So this is another tradition. So we ended up hanging out the rest of the night. And then I had a very early morning because I had an early morning flight. All of us had staggered flights, so I ended up having to go and get breakfast by myself 
myself that morning because we all had flights at different times. So I headed down, was packing very quietly that morning because everyone was asleep, and I headed down for my solo breakfast. But this was a good y'all fest. It was relaxing. I just wanted a y'all fest that was relaxing because I've been so busy with work and school lately that I just needed some time to hang out with my friends. At this point, I just want a vacation with all of my friends. It doesn't need me to be book related. We're already so my kind of planning that because I don't even need to be having a reason book related to hang out with these people. So this was my last breakfast made with love, some pancakes, some hash browns, and my omelet, which was delicious. So this was a good y'all fest. Like I said, prioritizing panels was a good way to go. And this vlogging style was actually very relaxing and allowed me to not have to talk to the camera the entire time and just enjoy the time that I spent there. So I think I'll continue to do this for future events. Let me know what you think. But I caught my lift and then headed out to the airport and got in back home at a reasonable time, took a nap, and then promptly two days later got the con crud. But that was it for Y'all Fest 2017. Overall, a good event as always. That's why Y'all Fest is one of my favorites. So comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this vlog style. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!